Hey guys, P P one here with a tutorial on how to use Moby Steel Jungle and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Now, um, before we get started, there, there are going to be three download links in the description. One is for Steelworks, which is great for beginners, but I'm not going to do a tutorial on that. Um, the second one is for Moby Steel Jungle, which I'm doing a tutorial on right now. And the third one is for Old Spice's Corkscrew Supports, which, you'll need, which we'll need later on in the tutorial. So before we even get started, I'd like to say that I'm sorry for the crappy quality, but my on-screen recorder does, is too slow, the standard one, so I'm just using this just so that way it ain't going to lag or anything. So before we get started, what you need to do is you need to hit this little, I don't know what that is, eyeglass thing or whatever, and make sure that the grid is enabled, the t -t terrain gr grid. Okay, so now that that is enabled, next thing is deleting, is the removing the supports. There's two options. The first, first one is to use the support killer, which takes too long, so I'm not going to do that for time saving purposes. But it can only be found in the Steelworks, <coughs> JCAT Steelworks custom scenery set, so I would recommend downloading that if you're going to use that. But here's the second way you come over here to the eyeglass thing again and you hit this little support thing. And it just automatically removes all the supports. Now here's the problem: the support killer removes the support shadows, but the but the turning off the supports does not. So that's why I still use the support killer, even though I don't do that. So, okay, so the first thing we're gonna, so as you can clearly see, I did some things. First thing we're gonna go ahead and do is just straight away supports using Moby Steel Jungle. Now I'm gonna get really in depth with this probably gonna be a long video and when I upload to YouTube the quality is probably gonna be really crappy because I because it's gonna take me like two hours to upload this probably so quality's gonna be really crappy. <coughs> anyway, I, I always use the version one. Ver, the, the version two is just thicker. Dang. So what you want to do is you want to come down here to bar vertical extended. I know it's I know you can't read it. Um, bar vertical extended and what you need to do is just go ahead and click on it, select whatever color you want in the color range, whatever RCT3 has. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and line it up right underneath the coaster track and just go ahead and raise and lower it to where it comes up to like right there. Not where it's touching the coaster track, but to where it's like right below it. And then you skip. Three, four, five, six. You skip two squares, then do it on this on the next square. Once you can skip, skip two squares, do it on the next square. Skip two more squares. Okay, you, you get you get it. I'm only gonna do three. So um, and then after you do that, what you need to do is you need to come over here to your bar slant H8 extended, and then just click on it. Select as the same color. Most the supports look best in gray, so I'd recommend gray. And what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, line it up with the support like that, or it's like that, and just raise it on up. Ah, crap! What I do? Okay, just raise it on up to. Uh, oops, just raise it on up to where like that. Do that for all your other straight. This is only for straightaway supports. We'll get to curved corkscrew all that in a few minutes, but for straightaway, um, and then um, the next thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and make the little hoop de do whatever you call it thing at the top. What you want to do is the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and get the bar vertical H1 and. Okay, my my cup my okay. Pretend that my color the, the color of my track on the coaster is orange. Therefore, I want to come over here to the color spectrum and I'm going to hit orange. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to line that up and just raise it on up to right. Let me zoom on in and that to that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to raise it on up to like that right there, where it's like that. And I'm just going to do that for the rest of them. Okay, I'm not going to do it for the rest of them, but you get the deal. Okay, the next thing you need to do is flanges. Flanges, however you say that, I don't know. Um, 
flange vertical. Now there's different kinds of flanges. Flanges, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, come over here to flange vertical. I'm just going to call it flange. I think that's how you pronounce the bell. And then you're just going to raise it on up to right there. Easy as that. Then you just do it for the rest of them. But I, like I said, I didn't put the that little thing up there, so I'm not going to do it for the rest of them. Okay, so we're almost done with that with the support with that support. What we need to do next, we need to come over here to zoom on in flange, 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 slant H12, H4, H8, whichever one's going to work best for you. H12, and then you're just going to come over here. Well, it's not going to work for specifically for that one, so we're going to come over here to this support right here. Okay, we're zooming in, and we're on here on this support right here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is see that right there. We're just going to go ahead and bring it up to where it's equalized on the thing, and then there you go. And then hit flange slant H8, and then well, that's not going to work on that one. But for like the really high supports, just load it up with um, flanges. And I would highly recommend to make it the same color as your support. There. And just load it and just basically load the whole entire thing up with the with um things where it looks realistic, but it's all it, where it looks realistic. Don't make it look like crap. So next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and do inversions. Inversions are <coughs> rather easy to do. Come, okay, so what you need to do is you need to come on down here. Oh, oh, yes. Footers. Before I continue on that, footers. Just download whatever whichever footer custom scenery set you can find. Art Roller Close Tycoon 3. Databay, DB, um, Voden's community pages. There's a lot of good custom scenery sites out there that have plenty of footers. Just download and then go ahead and install, install footers. Okay, so come over here to... Um, let me see. Bar vertical extended, which we used earlier. And then click on that, bring it out, and then just use whatever color of the spectrum you need to use. Okay, and then, okay, we're over here lined up with the coaster. Make sure it's lined up with the exact center of the inversion. You're going to come out to the side one, you're just going to raise it up to as high as you need to make it for the inversion to allow it to work for that specific inversion and then next thing you do is you come down to now you go up bar horizontal then you click on bar horizontal to make that come up and then whatever color of the track you then whatever color of the track your track is didn't go ahead and do that like I said, I'm pretending my track color is cut is orange, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Come over here, do that. Okay, so next thing is you go down to knuckle. It'll be at the very bottom of the custom scenery set list. Knuckle. Use just regular knuckle, knuckle center and knuckle edge and knuckle inverter for different things. Just use knuckle, just a plain knuckle. And you use the same thing, so use orange in my case, but it would be different in whatever color of the coaster you're making yours. Um, okay, so now I have done that. Since I had flanges, so what you do, flange vertical is what I'm using once again. Change the color of it to whatever, it'd be yellow in my case. Oops, shoot. Okay, I accidentally deleted that thing, and that's not supposed to be deleted. I'll go ahead and put it back here in a second. So I have two flanges like that. Um, next thing, hold on, let me go ahead. And, it's gonna bug the crap out of me as long as I don't have it back on there. So, let me put it back on here. Doo -doo -doo. Um, just add some more. Depending on how high your your vertical support is, you might want to add. Um, I want to go all the way up to the top of the custom scenery list or the Moby Steel Jungle. And hit and click on bar angle H8 extended and just go ahead and you know do that. But that's only for like really high supports. In my case, I would probably not need it in the case that I'm for my for the height I'm building it in. But anyway, that's how you do that. And it just said custom things. I'll come back to the corkscrew um, concerning loops. Loops are the 100% hardest 
support to make in Rollcast Tycoon 3. Use the loop supports in Steelworks to do that. Okay, so next thing straight away is straight away is the same exact thing as that, but it's all leveled. So the same exact thing as the support something, but it's all leveled. Um, turns. Turns are actually quite difficult. Well, not that they're not any more difficult than straightaways, but it's a lot harder for me to describe how you to do a turn. Okay, so you come over here, use, um, come over here, just go ahead and line it up at the beginning of your turn, like that. Come over here to the center of your turn, line it up, do it again. Make sure you leave that extra little spot right there and come over here to the end of your turn and do it and line it up and do it. So, after you've done that, they come on over here to bar verticals and then in parentheses it'll say center. Then you go ahead and line it up like that, like that, and then you do it on the other side. Sounds simple. Okay, and all what you have to do next is you have to come over here to bar sparse slant h8 extended on the side oh on the side ones that one back there and that one you do that and then for the others remaining so then for the remaining ones you come over here to bar angle 12 h center that's what you need to use come over here place them like that all right so now we're done with that so you just go ahead and Add your little orange piece, like that right there, that right there, and then you just go ahead and add your flange around it, and then just extra flange flanges like that right there. As a reminder, the um, short little thing is the um, bar vertical H1. And the flange for that specific thing is flange vertical. So, last thing on my list of, of this tutorial is the corkscrew thing. So, this is where Old Spice's corkscrew supports will be coming in nice little handy. So, what you do is you come over here, hit your scenery button. Make sure you have you don't want any of this other. You don't want any of these other themes up here highlighted. You want only generic because you'll have too much to look at then. So, let me, keep, let me get that zoomed in there. Okay. Um, let's come down here to... Oh, here, remember, oh, here it is. Old Spices Corkscrew Supports. Okay. Now you have several options. Well, not very many options, but the support small. That's for the small corkscrew, which is what I'm using. And you have the support for the large corkscrew, which is the larger corkscrew. And they have the angled corkscrew, which is for large on <coughs> only. So, I'm going to go ahead and just place... Let me go ahead and zoom out now. Okay. I'm just go ahead and color it however the color scheme of your coaster is. Orange would be, in my opinion, would be in my case. This is very important. Make sure it's all angled up nicely. There, now it's all fixed. Okay. Supports base small. Just go ahead and do that. There you go. There's your corkscrew support. Easy enough. Not really much work required. <clears throat> Concerning loops. Just don't worry about loops. That Don't stress over the loops using Moby Steel Jungle. To JCAT Steelworks. And just go ahead and use the pre-existing loop supports. Just go ahead and come over here to J, J Cut Steelworks. Just use the loop supports. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and.